developing now. Nine people shot at City Place Doral. This happened early this morning. Two people are dead, including an armed suspect. Doral police officer and six others injured in the chaos. And we have team coverage of this shooting. Local 10 Samir Nefsi has more on what we're learning about the victim that was killed. But we're starting with Local 10's Trent Kelly live from the scene with everything we've learned about the ongoing investigation. Trent, what can you tell us? Well, Sanella, we do know that all of this started overnight with a fight among customers at a popular bar here in Doral's City Place development. That argument leading to gunfire with the suspect shooting and killing a private security guard. That suspect later shot and killed by responding police officers. Well, all the commotion was in Mar by Martini Bar. Um, people were running everywhere. There's cops everywhere. Gunfire in the heart of City Place Doral overnight, leaving two people dead, including an armed suspect accused of shooting at police who later returned fire. One officer and six bystanders also wounded after getting shot during the chaos. I saw a lady on the ground. I wasn't sure if she was hit, if she was hurt, if she was scared. According to investigators, it started around 3.30 this morning when customers inside the Doral Martini Bar on Northwest 83rd Avenue began to fight. At some point, a private security guard stepped in, leading one of the men involved to pull out a gun and open fire, killing the guard. Doral police arriving within seconds. Officers that were working the commercial establishment at the time immediately responded and, w and uh, there was an exchange of gunfire between the subject and the officer. Police killing the suspect, but not before one officer was shot in a lower extremity. Paramedics transporting him to Ryder Trauma in Miami. Six other people who just happened to be nearby also hit by the bullets. The time a law enforcement officer is shot, it tears at the core fabric of our community. But we are grateful that he is alive and in stable condition. It was very loud. I felt it in my chest. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty scary. The entire situation unfolding near several residential buildings, startling neighbors. I heard an initial like three shots, didn't really know where it was coming from. I thought it was fireworks. And then I heard probably 10 or 15 directly after that. Investigators from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement spending hours on scene trying to piece together what happened and whose bullets hit the bystanders. Whose gunfire well, was the one that struck them? It is way too early to know, and perhaps we may not know for, for quite some time just yet until this evidence, of course, is processed. And that scene did end up clearing just a few hours ago with many of the businesses here in this area just now starting to reopen their doors. We should tell you that so far the names of the officers involved in this shooting have not been released. But according to the Doral Police Chief, we're told the officer who was injured in all of this is a four year veteran of the force and was able to apply a tourniquet to his own wounds to stop the bleeding before being transported to the hospital. Meantime, workers at that martini bar did send us a statement late today telling us they are heartbroken by this tragedy. They say they are mourning the life of their security guard who we now know was just shot and killed while doing his job. For now, that is the latest live from Doral this evening. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.